Our next MC is all the way in Japan, where she is from. She speaks her local language of Japanese. She speaks French. She speaks English. She specializes in hosting events across the world. She has hosted some events like the G7 Summit in Japan, the Tokyo International Film Festival, and the Rugby World Cup in 2019. She ought to have been hosting the Tokyo Olympics this year. In fact, right about this time, but for COVID. So, well, we'll watch and see what happens. So she's speaking about new frontiers. What are new things to explore now that we're going through a season like this? She'll be talking to us about how to pivot our uh, on-stage skills to, to meet new demands in the event industry. She's also the voice of Google Japan. Yay, join me, welcome, Miho Noguchi. Well, thank you, Joyce, for this uh, you know, introduction. I'm very humbled. Hi, my name is Miho Noguchi from bilingualmc.jp, and I'm a professional event host MC in Japanese, English, and also in French. Je parle un peu de français. Si vous, uh, si vous êtes les, les fran uh, francophones, uh, bonjour, bonsoir. And I'm based in central Japan, and I specialize in international corporate and public events. And for the past 15 years, uh, I've had a tremendous honor of hosting many global events and I've worked with world-class clients and I was seeing more and more demand coming in the next five or 10 years, you know, because the inbound tourism here in Japan was booming. And we had really amazingly unprecedented number of people coming, over 30 million foreign visitors uh, you know, came to Japan in last year alone and but you know uh, the COVID hit the country and of course the whole planet and I was going to you know I was getting ready for the Tokyo Olympics which was going to you know was supposed to be open late this month and everybody in the event industry was getting ready for this big event um, last time we when we hosted the Olympics, it was like, you know, before I was even born. So the boom, everything was gone. No one is traveling, no more live events, you know, happening. And I'm sure everybody in here on this call had had their speaking business affected by the pandemic, right? And the, the Tokyo Olympics has been postponed for next year, next July, the same exact time, you know, this time next year, but nothing is predictable. You know, we can't really count on the chance that it's going to really happen for sure. So my topic today is titled New Frontiers. Thank you, Joyce, for giving me this uh, you know, lovely title. And everybody's seeking new demands, new opportunities to continue their business as a professional speaker, right? So I'd like to share the two trends because we have, we have only like five, seven minutes uh, for each speaker in the event and speaking industry that I've seen uh, uh, that I've seen in the couple of past couple of months in this new normal, so that you can pivot your career for new opportunities as well. So first, I must say that live events are now shifting to virtual, as a lot of speakers, you know, have already told you. And it's going to stay that way even after the pandemic is over. And I'm sure a lot of you who are watching this live already have worked online, right? So right after the COVID hit in February, I was contacted by a couple of clients, casting agents to audition for the show host role of different global companies, virtual events. So first I wanna tell you that you should know even in this very tricky time, Companies are launching new products and they need to showcase them to new customers and entice media attention as well. And they need to do that on new platforms such as YouTube or Zoom or any other webinar platforms. And they really need good professional speakers to host the events. Why? 
because now the whole world can watch the show online. So before, if it's a, um, a product launch, the venue will be in a hotel room and the press, you know, press conference will be held. And uh, that will be archived in videos, but uh, not the whole show what you know, weren't really like streamed, uh, like live streamed on the internet. But now it has become the norm. And so the MC's role as the face of the company is becoming more and more significant. And because the entire live stream will be on their websites and YouTube for months and years. So you got to be sophisticated. you got to be the glue between the company, the host and the audience. And they're, uh, they organize their events for bigger reasons. They just don't organize events to, you know, for people to just mingle, but they need to sell, they need to promote, and they need to um, have like stronger brands. So back to my job leads. I told you I had a couple of job leads and I auditioned for the uh, show hosting for Nissan, the automobile company's digital world premiere of their new vehicle, which is gonna go live very soon. And it was done on Zoom and there were seven or eight of my clients watching me from different locations and I won the audition. I want the job by speaking from the comfort of my own home. I have my equipment, I have my mic. Well, uh, it's not working this time, but it did when I auditioned. <laughs> but um, so, although I needed, I needed to go to Yokohama for the actual shooting, there are many virtual events like conducted entirely online with virtual hosts speaking from their home studios. So this is a huge opportunity for everyone here who's watching this virtual summit because this means you have a chance to work from home for someone whose events are taking place in other countries. And the second trend that I'm seeing in the couple of months uh, in the past is that more and more company executives on or people in general they are more conscious of the way they speak and they want to improve their public speaking skills because everything they do in their keynotes or on their youtube channels in their videos when they look at them and watch everything they get sick of it and they just don't like the way they speak and they all of a sudden um, public speaking became their big big issue and I've been contact I've been contacted by a couple of uh, people say hey Miho how can I improve my public speaking skills in front of the camera uh, especially so this is another great opportunity for you guys MCs and speakers to share your expertise with not only with their with your peers like aspiring mcs but also with ordinary people like business people who want to master your expertise as public speakers and you can teach them how to do it uh, like uh, with online courses or uh, with one-on-one -on -one coaching programs and that's the direction i'm uh, going into right now so, oh, excuse me. So, these are my two tips. One, go virtual and promote yourself as an MC who can flawlessly host events online. And two, turn to the people who want to have your skills. These are the, my tips that I have to keep you busy before the live events come back to normal. So, thank you so much for your opportunity to speak, to, you know, speak to you and to you Joyce, back to you. Thank you, Miho. Thank you so much. It's wonderful for people to get perspective from other speakers from across the world, because sometimes I think we forget that there are issues globally and we think it's just us. So to hear the points and pointers and the direction in which you're he heading and you'd like to recommend to us, I'm really grateful. Thank you, Miho. I'm sure you can see the applause in the comment section if you would look. Thank you. Ooh, thank, you. thank you. Yes. And we can't wait to have you live in Nigeria, post-COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Miho, thank you so much. 
if you have any Yes, yes, I agree with you totally. And my tips are uh, more a little bit more specific. And if you want to start your speaking career, I would just uh, a print like business cards. Here in Japan, business cards are huge. Like the moment you meet somebody, you take your cards out and show you know show who you are to the person that you're meeting for the first time. So, like. Stating your title or like profession officially, even though you are just starting out or you're just aspiring speaker, it really gives you the accountability that you have no way, you know, no way to go back, and you just need to, uh, you know, pursue your goal to start your career as a speaker or MC. And also, I agree. I agree with uh, uh, Quesi. Uh, remarks that uh, you go out and you know ask your ask your family or friends and uh, tell them that you are really uh, serious about this new business and also mm -hmm. even though even though you are uh, you are not a you know very good speaker yet sometimes simultaneously you can go to a, a local postmasters club. And perhaps start practicing, or you can reach out for mentors like Joyce and other great speakers in your country, uh, and uh, because they have they have achieved what you are dreaming of. So uh, the quickest way is to learn from those who have realized your dream already. All right. Yeah, that's true. And then I think one of the things that I would want mm -hmm. to add to it is about the fact that you've mm -hmm. got to read and watch videos of others that are already doing it. And yeah. you don't have to forget about the fact that you would have to go in and hold the mic and start speaking. All right. If you don't go in and hold the mic and start speaking, nobody will do that for you. You only sit down and assume that you want to be a master of ceremony or some speaker. But then as long as you are learning from these experts, make sure that that very opportunity around you, you take up that opportunity and start speaking. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Miho. Thank you. Thank you. The comments, people are following you and they're taking the points away. I'm so grateful.